This pandemic has been hard on everyone. Scientists across the globe are looking for a possible treatment. Here is the most sought after medicinal drug on the planet. Let's talk about the properties of this drug that make it so valuable. The immunomodulatory effect. It has the ability to inhibit certain immune functions such as antigen presentation. It dampens our immune system. But now the question might arise, how is dampening our immune system helpful because it's like putting down a shield against your virus. For this we need to understand this term called the immune tolerance. It is a state where the immune system does not respond to a substance or a tissue which has the potential to induce an immune response. But how is this necessary? Understand it this way. Suppose a few terrorists attack a densely populated region and in order to stop them, the police decides to bombard that area or to just open fire. This might end up getting even worse, like it will affect the surroundings so much. The same thing happens with our immune system. Don't take me wrong on this, the virus is extremely dangerous but the thing that actually kills us is the harsh reactions of our own immune system on our tissues. And this is the exact reason why dampened immunity in few members of Chiroptera makes them an extremely good host for the virus without actually affecting their lifespans. Now let's talk about the alkaline nature of chloroquine and the fact that it can enter endosomes and lysosomes. So hydroxychloroquine can actually increase the pH of endosomes and lysosomes and in doing so it decreases the endocytosis. Endocytosis is the process by which substances come into the cell and therefore it decreases the functioning and this very property is the reason why it is used against malaria. Hydroxychloroquine promotes the influx of zinc ions into the cell. It acts as an ionophore. Now what's an ionophore? Ionophores are channel formers that introduce a hydrophilic pore and allow ions to pass through it without coming in contact to the membrane. In simple terms, it means that it just forms an enclosed tunnel and doesn't allow the ions to come in contact with the surroundings. Well, according to a study in 2010, zinc ions inhibit coronavirus and artery virus RNA polymerase activity and stop them from replicating. So hydroxychloroquine can also bind with sialic acids. But how is this property important? Sialic acids are small sugar molecules present on the cell membrane and they are situated very close to ACE2 receptors. Receptors. By binding with sialic acids, hydroxychloroquine is actually preventing the spike proteins of SARS-CoV-2 virus from binding with ACE2 receptors and hence it is not allowing the virus getting into the cell. But there have been some controversial allegations on HCQ that it causes cardiac complications. But rheumatologists have been using this for many years on millions of patients across the globe according to Dr. Danda who is the chief editor of International Journal of Rheumatology. They hardly come across such situations. With long term usage, they worry about IT toxicity but this too is reversible by controlling the dosage and with very small dosage of HCQ cardiac complications are very unlikely. HCQ also has inhibitory effects on HIV, autoimmune disorders, ME biosis and in the pandemic point of view the way science is progressing every single day the light at the end of the tunnel seems fairly close.